GoPuff is failing, but is that really a surprise if you're doing this as a side hustle? If you didn't know, by the way, it's a convenience last mile delivery service like a lot of these in the gig economy. You go to a warehouse, you pick up the customer's order, they're loaded into little bins, you get the GoPuff bag, you deliver to the customer, and then you always come back to the warehouse that is the centrally based warehouse in your market. But your marketplace may have more than one warehouse, and the breaking news that I just saw yesterday here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And here's the thing. This warning, it still pertains to you if you're not in Pittsburgh and if you do go puff as a side hustle and if you don't. Got this email yesterday. Hi, Mike. Hi, go puff. Go puff regularly evaluates the locations of our facilities globally. After a thorough review, the decision has been made to close the Pittsburgh downtown site in your area effective today that was yesterday july 12th yeah uh, the last day of operations is today as well and the facility will stop receiving orders at 4 p.m eastern to support this transition we want to remind you of the following in nearby sites so we got pittsburgh south and pittsburgh east so this is how it's impacting us here in pittsburgh and again there's a larger scale warning here all right well here's our two centrally based warehouses here in pittsburgh this top Top one is the downtown warehouse. Not far from me, pretty convenient to drive here for side hustle delivery shifts. This one is closed. Well, it's now closed, I should say. At the time of filming this, this is closed. And we do have this South Warehouse. So think of this for your marketplace, any gig that has a centrally based warehouse. So Amazon Flex might have more or probably multiple warehouses in your marketplace. Obviously, go puff and then just participating stores, let's say. So the grocery stores on shipped and Instacart. So what if a Target leaves a platform? What if this X, Y, and Z grocery store leave the platform in that case? If a store, a restaurant, whatever it is, a warehouse leaves your platform, it gives you less opportunities to make money. And here's the thing for you, I mean, here in Pittsburgh, at least, I can no longer commute just what, eight minutes away to that downtown warehouse and I have to go to this other warehouse. But expound on that. If you're even further away, you may say, dude, it's not even worth it anymore. Okay, Mike. But that's Pittsburgh. It's like a what medium, small, medium market with 300,000 and they close. It's not that bad, right? Well, in doing my research, I found this article from CNBC from just last July 2022. Delivery startup GoPuff cuts 10% of its global workforce and closes 76 U.S. warehouses. The article state these layoffs impact about 1,500 employees because these warehouses, the employees actually pick the items for you. They load them into the bags. And then you go in there, you just pick up the bags, and make the deliveries. So not only are they laying off, yes, 1,500 employees, but they're closing those 76 U.S. warehouses about 12% of its network. What are the warning signs to look for on any, any side hustle app? Because I know GoPuff's not the most popular. It's certainly not a big market share in most marketplaces. But for any side hustle, what are the warning signs that you should look for that a side hustle is getting worse or they might just leave the marketplace entirely? Well, at least anecdotally, comment down below. Here in Pittsburgh, what I saw was in about what, 2021, 2022, we had like X base pay per order. So the way GoPuff works is you get that base pay per order plus customer tips. Number one, that base pay went down from 2022 to 2023. Nominal. It was like what? 320. Well, it continues to be like 325 for that South Warehouse. That is awful. 325. You don't know really where you're delivering until you get that assignment. You have to take the bin assignments. You don't know how many bin assignments you're going to get. You have no control over that. They just send you like assignments based on how busy they are having to make the delivery. Sure, GoPuff has a set radius, so you're not going to drive 25 minutes. It's usually like 15 minutes max, maybe 18 minutes away from that warehouse. Actually, probably more on the shorter end. 
that I'm thinking about that. But if they can't succeed in the downtown location, I have even more concerns for the South Warehouse that I showed you, and apparently an East Warehouse that doesn't show up on my driver app. Now, funny enough, they sent an email like the next day, like, hey, we have this new map feature. You can see the current live demand levels at the marketplace, the two that are still surviving in your marketplace, basically. But it doesn't change the fact that Pittsburgh is in addition to last July's, what, 76 warehouse closures. Now, I get it. The company said, hey, this is basically in line with us trying to look at the most profitable venues. And if there's going to be underperforming locations, like most any business, if there's, you know, franchises, chains, whatever, they're always looking at the most underperforming and chopping off maybe that bottom 10%. But listen, you're trying to make money on these side hustle apps. And the takeaway is, I've said this basically from day one, you have to diversify. What if DoorDash, I know you hate to hear it probably, but what if DoorDash slows down? Less peak pay, less orders. We have the new beta of the Dash of Rewards program that might be coming to your marketplace. It's gone, I'll tell you that. Uber Eats, what if that slows down? Uber and Lyft, looking at rideshare, probably was the hottest in what, 2015 to 2018 maybe? Has that cooled down? What happens of oversaturation? If an app is hot, I'm telling you, someone's gonna discover it eventually, more and more people discover it. That was kind of like me and Shipped with like, I don't know, 2017, 18, whatever year that was, that these things are gonna change, the best apps are gonna change. So is it a little bit disappointing? Yes. Is it necessarily a surprise? No, I'll just drive a little further to do some shifts to report back to you. By the way, that's all I do here. I help you make money in different side hustles. If you can drop a like on this video, consider subscribing. Check out your drivermike.com, by the way, for courses and resources to help you in most any side hustle. I'll just say you probably don't wanna put all your eggs in one app basket, right? Actually, I'd even encourage you to look at entrepreneurial ventures. You already have it in you. You're already doing this stuff most likely as a side hustle. So starting a business, anything in digital, I love monetizing across socials. Actually, we have a course on monetizing on YouTube and we do have an 18% off code linked down below as well. But I'd encourage that as well. Now, you know, if you just want to do this stuff as a side hustle, that's fine. But if you're just going to do that and just do these apps, this is real proof that this stuff changes.